All right, Honors Chem, today we're going to clarify a little bit about ions. So I'm going to do a different row. We already did like lithium and nitrogen and some other ones, but I'm going to pick a different row from the third principal energy level. So the third principal energy level is right here. Notice at the top here, it says 1A. Everybody in this family has one electron in the outside energy level. So one valence electron, and we're dealing with the third principal energy level. So first is sodium. Sodium has 11 protons. And when he is an atom, he has 11 electrons. Now, Remember the first principal energy level with hydrogen and helium only holds two electrons. And then the second principal energy level, which is lithium through neon, holds eight electrons. So we're gonna fill those up. And then that last principal energy level, so here's the first 10, has one electron. That's the valence electron. That's the single electron in the outside energy level. When sodium becomes an ion, he could either lose that one or gain seven more. It's easier to lose one. He's a metal. Metals tend to lose electrons. When he loses one electron, he doesn't have 11 anymore. This time he has 10. So if you add up 10 pluses and <clears throat> 11 pluses and 10 minuses, you end up with one extra plus. So the charge on sodium and everybody else in family one is plus one. Remember, we just write plus. Let's go to magnesium now. Magnesium has 12 protons in the nucleus. And when he's an atom of magnesium, he also has... 12 electrons. Let's place his electrons in the electron shells. Two for that first principal energy level, that's all it holds. Eight. In the second principal energy level, and then you'll see this Roman numeral two above magnesium's family, which is the alkali earth metals. He has two electrons in the outside energy level. I've placed total of 12 electrons. When magnesium is going to form an ion, he will give away both of those electrons in the outside energy level. It's easier than gaining six. So when he gives those two away, he's also going to have 10. Notice, just like sodium, he wants to be like neon with 10 electrons. Everybody wants to be like a noble gas. So if you have 12 pluses and 10 minuses, you have a charge of plus two. This is how we write the ion for magnesium is two plus. Let's go over, because remember this only works for the guys who have A next to their family number. The Roman numeral followed by A tells us the amount of electrons in the outside energy level or the amount of valence electrons. Next is aluminum. Aluminum has 13 positive protons and as an atom, he has 13 negative electrons. So with three in the outside energy level and 13 total, two in the first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the second, and then one, two, three in that last side energy level. <clears throat> so he could either lose three or gain five, He's still a metal, so he's actually going to lose these three. It's easier than gaining five. When he loses those three valence electrons, he'll have 10 electrons, again like neon. If you add 13 pluses and 10 minuses, you get a charge of plus three. So aluminum as an ion is written like this with a charge of plus three. Here's our ions. Now look at carbon family here. Silicon would be the one in the carbon family that we would worry about. He has four valence electrons, so he could either lose four or gain four. 
And the reality is sometimes he loses four and sometimes he gains four. So he could either be plus four or minus four. But we're going to leave him alone for now. We're going to go stick with the ones that we're going to use most often. Let's go to the fifth family here, the nitrogen family. And in the third principal energy level, we would be dealing with phosphorus. Phosphorus has 15 positive protons. And when he's an atom, he has 15 negative electrons too. Let's fill in all 15. Two in the first energy level, eight in the second, and then one, two, three, four, five in the outside energy level. This time, he would have to lose five or he could gain three. What phosphorus likes to do, because he's a nonmetal, is he likes to gain three electrons. When he gains three electrons, he now has 18 electrons, just like argon. And 15 pluses and 18 minuses give us a charge of minus three. So that's the ion that phosphorus would have. <clears throat> Let's go to the oxygen family. Calcogens are called sometimes. And we're dealing with the third principal energy level. So that would be sulfur. Sulfur has 16 protons, positive protons in the nucleus. And when he's an atom, he has 16 electrons. Let's place all 16 of those electrons. One, two, eight in the second. And then he has one, two, three, four, five, six. Now he would have to lose six or he could just gain two. And he's going to gain those two. He is a non-metal, so he likes to gain and that would give him 18 minus electrons, just like argon. Plus 16 minus 18 gives you a minus two charge on the ion. So sulfur will have an ion charge of minus two like that. Next one is chlorine. Chlorine has 17 protons in the nucleus. You're going to start seeing a pattern here, aren't you? So one, two, three electron shells. One, two, then eight in the second one. And then seven in that last one. So he could either lose all seven or he could gain one. And that's what he'll do. When he gains one, he has 18 just like argon and a charge of minus one. Just like pluses, if we have a minus one, we just usually write minus. <clears throat> Last guy, let's do argon. Argon has eight electrons in the outside energy level, just like he wants. He doesn't have to want to be like a noble gas. He is a noble gas. So he has 18 protons. And his first three energy levels are full. So there's no room for extras. He doesn't want to give any away. And he doesn't have to. And he won't. So we'll put the eight in the outside energy level. We'll acknowledge that he doesn't have any room for any extras. He doesn't have any extras he wants to give away. He will not do any of that. With 18 protons and 18 neutrons, he is going to stay as an atom electrically neutral and will not form an ion. That's why he's a noble gas. 
So there is a quick summary of ions. 